So I just got a pair of shoes in the mail and I wanted to open this box and show you guys what I was picking up and then I started to think about it. I actually got a good deal on this shoe and I want to explain to you guys why I think I got a good deal and how you can do this too. So if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! On this channel, I clearly love talking about sneakers and I really love helping people find good deals on sneakers so they can add them to their collection and not have to worry about always spending top dollar. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing because we are very close to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. I was just gonna go ahead and open the shoe and just rock it and go about my day. And I started thinking about it. I was like, there's a little story behind this shoe and I'm excited to add these back in my collection. Well, I guess I already have these in my collection, which I'll get to in a second. But basically, let me close this knife so nobody gets cut we have a pair of air jordan fours as you see right here now what is inside that is the question that everybody's asking first i'm going to tell you the price of this sneaker and i got these for 575 dollars now i know your normal everyday sneaker head or your person who doesn't know anything about sneakers they're going to be like bro why'd you spend 575 dollars on a pair of shoes that makes no sense well hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to understand my logic behind all this thinking so now that you know how much i spent on the shoe let's figure out what shoe it is can you guys guess obviously you know this is the air jordan 4 box if you didn't know this is the Air Jordan 4 box. Let's see what we got inside. We got the lid and then we got the shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. So right here, we have a pair of Cactus Jack Travis Scott Air Jordan 4s. This is the Houston Oilers colorway, and I want to make sure that I give you guys some nice in-hand shots as well, just so you can see what the shoe looks like as we grow out the video and get some understanding based off of the condition and how it's used and why we compare the different prices based on other used sneakers. And I'll get a little bit more deeper into that later in the video as well when it comes to comparison and pricing and the value and the overall bang for the buck. So as you saw from that quick clip right there, the shoes are definitely worn, which is no problem. I think these are in a pretty solid condition condition and I feel like for $5.75 I got a really good deal and this is why I feel that way. So if you look at these photos right here we have a pair that is listed on GOAT. This is also a used pair. This sneaker does not have the box and they have this pair listed for $650. Now when we go deeper into the photos and take a look at these shots let's see what we got. On the first shot right here the shoe looks like it's a little bit dirty and a little bit blotchy on the upper which is understandable because of the materials and the shoe being suede and the baby blue and I might have a little bit of issues on that with my pair as well which is completely understandable i get that now we'll go to the next photo right here you're gonna have creasing from normal wear i feel like my pair in particular has less creasing on them so that's a big thing too when it comes to the crease on the toe box or the inside of the foot because jordan 4 is naturally crease in that area now when i go to the next slide right here just looking at the insoles alone this shoe doesn't even have insoles in them and then when you go to the toe box of the shoe as you look at the left foot right here these things are completely dirty and the right foot they're a little bit dirty too. Looking at the back side of the shoe, you got a little bit of dirt on the heel as well. And then on the bottoms, these are yellowing out and you got dirt on the bottoms. Obviously the shoe's been worn. A little bit of wear and tear on the top of the tongue from pants and different things like that. So as you can see, definitely some dirt on this sneaker. Looking at the toes as well back here and then some other angles on the other side. That is what a pair on GOAT looks like for $650. Now just comparing those to my pair at $575, I already feel like I got a better deal simply because I got the box I have the hang tags. They ended up coming with some shoe trees inside of them as well. The insoles aren't that bad and the outsoles aren't yellowing as bad as the other pair as well. So I think overall, just when it comes to the dirt, cleanliness, the creasing, and the overall just presentation of the shoe, I feel like mine definitely look better. So now let's check out a pair that's a little bit higher in value and see if they're comparable more to an eight or a $900 pair of shoes. So looking at this shot right here, it looks like the shoe looks really good on the upper of the sneaker. This has the box and everything that comes along with it as well. Going to the next shot on the inside of the foot, very minimal creasing. The upper, the materials look really, really clean, really nice. Going to the toe box, the top shot right here. Insoles, everything looked great there. Back into the shoe, shoe looks good. Outsoles, pretty clean. Yellow one isn't too bad. That's a nice thing. Got the size tag, you got the box. And then another shot of the shoes inside the box. So like you saw in the first photo, they're asking $875 for this pair. And again, this is a used pair of shoes. We're gonna talk about the value of a new pair as well in a second. But as of right now, you have a big difference when you come to 650 
875. That'll kind of give you a perspective when it comes to this sneaker and the overall value based on if it's used and how used is the shoe and what comes along with the shoe when it comes to attachments, insoles, box, you name it. That also affects the value of the sneaker. And all of these examples that I'm giving you guys is a small glimpse of what you would learn inside of the Hobby to Hustle program. So if you want to really take your shoe game to a whole nother level and then build up to grow a huge collection and sell dead stock sneakers and then reinvest those back into your collection and, and take your collection to a whole nother level or, or start a business or whatever it may be, whatever you decide to do, all the information's on the inside. So if you want to join the VIP mastermind, make sure you check out the link down below or the one pinned in the comment section. And I have more info on this whole thing for you guys later in the video, but I just wanted to let you know, we still have more space in the VIP group and I'm excited to see new faces and I would love to have you on the inside. So when I look at this pair that I got for 575, I got the box, I got the shoes, I got a hang tag, it's somewhere in here. Where'd it go? Hold on. There we go. I got the hang tag that comes along with the shoe and we got the shoe trees that was a little complimentary. I ain't mad at that. Appreciate it, bro. So if I was to value this pair right here, just based off of 650 and 875, I would say these would probably range somewhere in the low 700s. So maybe somewhere around 725, 750, depending on who you're selling it to and who's asking. I feel like in my eyes, I got at least another extra 100 to $150 worth of value in this shoe. And that brings me to my next point. When you buy a used sneaker, you always want to buy it under the used value that way if you do wear the sneaker and you know that it has a higher value than what you got it for you can then depreciate the value a little bit by wearing the sneaker and still be able to get your money back or even sell it for more than what you got it for later down the line after you may have worn it a year or two and especially if it's a sneaker like this and it goes up in value even more you could still have this used sneaker just like this and never even wear it or wear it whatever you decide to do and then it could be worth from 725 maybe it's 825 or 925 and that 875 pair that you saw that we just showed that could potentially be a thousand dollar pair so there's definitely a lot of things to think about when it comes to that as well but it's always nice to be able to purchase a used sneaker for under the used value that way again you can depreciate that value to what it's worth and still be able to sell it and essentially wear a free pair of shoes. That's like buying a car for under market value. Say you buy a car for $7,000 and it's worth $10,000 and you drive that car for two years and then the price goes down a little bit. Well, we all know in the market right now, cars are extremely expensive and everything's reselling for too much. But for an example, say you drive that car for a couple years, you pay for insurance and gas and the normal maintenance, oil chain, stuff like that. And say your total out of pocket cost is somewhere around you know, eight or $9,000 after a couple years of owning the car. Well, the car is still worth $10,000 and it might depreciate a little bit and now it's a $9,000 car. Now you could go and sell that car still for $9,000 and you just drove it for two years and got all your money back for the gas, insurance, maintenance, and still be able to get your money back that you put into the car. And I feel like that analogy aligns really well with sneakers simply because I used to do that with cars and I still do it with sneakers. Now, when it comes to the resale value of a dead stock pair, meaning a brand new pair that's never been worn, these are gonna be hitting for somewhere around a little over $1,000 when it comes to a size 13 because that's what I wear. So that's how people typically gauge the price of a used sneaker. Obviously, they can't charge you the resale value of a dead stock pair if the shoe's not dead stock and it's not brand new. So they're gonna have to cut the price down a little bit. And then based on how worn the sneaker is or what the sneaker may be missing, if it's hang tags or boxes or insoles or something like that, all those little things make the shoe go down in value. So if you have hang tags that come with the sneaker or little accessories or something, make sure you don't lose those because that can always help the value of your sneaker. And you never really realize it but next thing you know that extra hang tag or having those little extra insoles or this extra set of laces that come with the sneaker that could increase the value of your shoe by 20 30 50 dollars depending on the shoe and the situation so what i want to do now is give you guys another look at this sneaker and let me know what you guys feel about this purchase at 575 obviously yes this is a little bit more expensive but i wanted to give you guys a good example of purchasing a used sneaker getting it under the used value and being able to then rock the sneaker and still get your money back or even sell the shoe for more down the line if you decided to i've done this multiple times when it comes to the travis scott 4 you see me stomping mud in my previous pair i ended up getting rid of those and selling them for way more than i had got them for and these right here 
I might stomp in mud again. Who knows? We shall see. But I definitely wanted to make this video for a couple reasons, just to show you guys my new pickup and what I plan on rocking in my rotation this summer. And then obviously learn a couple things along the way for you guys as well and give you guys a couple tips and tricks. And I have to give you guys one more thing. Where did I get the shoes from and how did I get such a good deal? I got these from Ice Cold Sneakers. He's a sneaker reseller on Instagram. And if you go to his story, he typically always has story deals going on. He's a trusted reseller. You don't have to worry about anything. If I'm vouching for him, I'm telling you right now, you don't gotta worry about nothing. He's a good person to get sneakers from. And every now and then you could definitely find a really good deal, especially on a hype sneaker and be able to save yourself a couple hundred bucks and be able to get another shoe to add to your rotation without having to hesitate so if you want to check him out make sure you check him out I have his Instagram link for you guys down below in the description and if you do find some good deals and you plan on picking up something from him let him know that DJ from the DNA show sent you and hopefully he can hook you up with the even better deal so I appreciate you guys as always if you learned a couple things from this video or if this inspired you to go find a good deal on a used sneaker drop a comment down below and let me know what you plan on picking up next I'll see you guys in another one all right y'all I'm out Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Oh wait, one thing before I go. I use the Reshuvenator disinfectant right here. I always make sure that I spray down and disinfect my sneakers on the inside and clean them out on the insoles, and then I'm ready to go and rock the shoe. I do that every time when I get a used pair of shoes, just to let y'all know. So I have the link for you down below in the description on that one as well. All right, y'all.